Hi all. Today we will talk about the antimicrobial susceptibility testing. Bacterial strains show a lot of variation in their susceptibility to antimicrobial agents. The first step in the process is to isolate bacteria from the clinical samples. Next, we identify the isolated bacteria as pathogenic or commensals. We do not perform AST for the commensal bacteria. AST is then performed for the pathogenic bacteria. The antibiotics used for testing are those that are most likely to be used for the treatment of the pathogenic bacteria. AST testing methods are of two main types, the disc diffusion method and the dilution method. The disc diffusion methods are Kirby-Bauer disc diffusion and Stokes disc diffusion. The dilution methods are Broth dilution and Agar dilution. In addition, there are some other methods also. Examples e-tests, various automated methods, and molecular methods like PCR. Now we will focus on the disc diffusion methods, Kirby-Bauer and Stokes method mainly. The disc diffusion method, this is the most widely used AST method. It is suitable for rapidly growing bacteria and not for slow growing bacteria. In this method we use filter paper discs. These filter papers discs contain appropriate concentration of the antibiotic solution. First, we inoculate the test bacterium as a lawn culture on the medium called Mueller Hinton agar. Then we place the filter paper discs on top of the medium. The antibiotic in the disc diffuses out into the solid culture medium. The concentration of antibiotic is highest near the disc and decreases further away from it. Bacteria do not grow near the disc but as we move further, the growth starts appearing because of low or no concentration of antibiotic. Sensitivity to the drug is determined by the zone of inhibition of bacterial growth around the disc. Mueller Hinton agar is considered as the best medium to use for routine AST of bacteria for the following reasons. It has acceptable batch to batch reproducibility for A street. It supports satisfactory growth of most pathogens. Sulfonamide and trimethoprim are better tested in Mueller Hinton agar than any other media. Some important modifications of Mueller Hinton agar include Lysed horse blood is added to Mueller Hinton agar to support the growth of fastidious organisms, such as H. influenza. Sodium chloride, 2 to 4% should be added to the medium for testing methicillin resistant Staph aureus isolates. Preparation of the inoculum. Isolated pure colonies of the test bacterium are inoculated in a suitable liquid medium such as peptin water broth. It is then incubated at 35 to 37 degrees Celsius for 4 to 6 hours. The density of the organisms in broth is adjusted to approximately 1.5 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 8 colony forming units per milliliter by comparing its turbidity with that of 0.5 McFarland opacity standard cube. Lawn culture. The broth is then inoculated on the Mueller Hinton agar medium by spreading with sterile swabs. The ideal inoculum after overnight incubation should give an even semi-confluent growth. Too heavy inoculum can reduce the size of inhibition zone around the discs. Control strains. Similar to the test bacterium, the inoculum of control strain should also be made and tested for AST using ATCC American type culture collection strains. Antibiotic disc. Antibiotic discs are available commercially or can be prepared in in-house. Watman No. 1 sterile filter paper discs of 6 mm diameter are impregnated with standard quantity of antibiotic solution. Choice of antibiotic discs. It is not appropriate to test the bacterium susceptibility against all the antibiotics. The list of drugs to be tested against an isolate depends on many factors. Antibiotics. Most likely to be used for that disease. Organism against which the drug has to be tested. Local prescription practices of the antimicrobial agents. Resistance patterns of the local pathogens. Cost. Toxicity pharmacokinetics, and spectrum of activity of an antimicrobial agent for the management of illness in a particular patient. What is the first-line and second-line drug testing? First-line drugs are those antibiotics that are commonly used in for the isolated organism should be tested first. First-line should also include the antibiotic currently being given to the patient. Second-line drugs include those antibiotics that are prescribed only in special circumstances. They are reserved for testing later, if the organism is found resistant to all the first-line antibiotics. Kirby-Bauer disc diffusion method in detail. A cotton swab is dipped into inoculum and squeezed to drain out the excess fluid. 
Then the swab is inoculated onto the Mueller Hinton agar plate by streaking the swab three times over the entire agar surface. After drying the surface of agar, three to five antibiotic discs are applied using either sterile forceps or multi disc dispenser. Discs should not be placed closer than 20 micrometers center to center on the Mueller Hinton agar plate. Ordinarily, maximum up to six discs can be applied on a 100 mm plate. Five in the periphery and one in the center. The plates are then incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 16 to 18 hours. But when testing for MRSA, results should be read only after 24 hours of incubation. The zones of complete inhibition of growth around each of the discs are measured using a ruler or vernier calipers. The diameter of the disc is also included in this measurement. The zone of inhibition is reported as sensitive, intermediate or resistant based on the standard zone size interpretation chart. Control strains should be tested each time when a new batch of discs or Mueller Hinton agar is used. Stokes Disc Diffusion Method. In this method, the Mueller Hinton agar plate is divided into three parts. The test organism is inoculated on the central part. The control strain on upper and lower parts of the plate. In contrast to this, in modified Stokes Disc Diffusion Method, the test bacterium is inoculated over the upper and lower parts of the plate and control on central one-third. An gap of 2 to 3 mm wide where there is no inoculum should separate the test and the control area. The discs are applied on this gap. The plates are then incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 16 to 18 hours. Reporting in Stokes Disc Diffusion Method, we compare the zones of inhibition of control and the test bacterium. The radius of the inhibition zone from the edge of the disc is measured. Result is interpreted as sensitive s if zone radius is not more than 3 mm smaller than the control. Intermediate i if zone radius is more than 2 mm but is smaller than the control by greater than 3 mm. Resistant r if zone of inhibition radius measures 2 mm or less. So that was all about the antimicrobial susceptibility testing for today. Other methods of AST will be covered in another video. If you like the video and want to see more of such videos on similar topics please like and share the video. Do comment and subscribe to receive notifications of all subsequent videos. Happy learning!